to a question actually that one of the men had in our consecration to St. Joseph program. He was saying, uh, so we're, we're in this culture where men are not allowed to show any sign of weakness, like mm. can't cry or be soft or vulnerable at all, no matter what the circumstance in your own personal family life or even work in society. But how can St. Joseph help men um, to kind of enter into that more like the vulnerability or just like um, being okay with who you are? Like right. what, what is St. Joseph's uh, kind of uh, witness for us in that aspect? Well, I, I think that, so, you know, the root word of man in Latin is, is vir. And that's where we get the word virtue. So to be manly is to be virtuous. So you've got to avoid extremes. Virtue is in the middle. Mm -hmm. So the description that you talked about is one extreme where, you know, um, the culture will say, that you you can only express your manhood by being soft or tender or sometimes they would even put want guys to be effeminate you could say right mm -hmm. so that's the problem of living in this and and androgynous era that we live in where there's no difference between male and female and you know it that gets dangerous territory because again it's not a competition it's a complementarity so mm -hmm. you've got to avoid the extreme of men basically wanting to be women. That's not the right way. But then you've got to avoid the other extreme where a man is just machismo. He's, you know, um, like a caveman. Woman, make me breakfast. That's not real manhood either, right? Mm -hmm. But if you find middle ground, then that's when you become a true gentleman like St. Joseph. That's where you're strong. You can swing an ax. You can chop wood. You can shave wood, you can carry stones, right? Because St. Joseph would have, uh, and all those things, and you're strong, and yet you are tender, you are kind, you are merciful, you are compassionate, right? When you have that blend of strength and, and, and that, that virtue of, of that tenderness, that's something powerful, mm -hmm. right? And unfortunately, in society today, we have one or the other. We have the guys who are just like, really machismo and then you got the guys who are so confused they think they're a girl you know so we got to bring them together in the middle is where the virtue is and that's again we see that perfectly in saint joseph mm. oh wow yeah it says so